Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have successfully created out uh, inserting of the data into the database. So just we have checked it with about the build and save and also the create method which comes in handy to insert the database. Now it's now let's time let's try to implement the same thing in our ad product which we have implemented in our thing. So right now we are getting errors. So if you go to the ad product product slash add something like this so for this one when we are trying to add a product instead of saving it in the file or something like that so we let's try to save it in the mysql database if i go here so where it will be if i move on to this admin let's try to move go to the routes so routes in the admin products slash add so this is a get product ad so this is a post product ad in the post product ad page we are saving the product so right now so there is no need uh, there is no need for us to call this save product here i can call product dot create so this okay let's try to import this product product dot create so we'll be having a product right so this this product model okay so here i'll be having let's go into this one product controller so this is our products controller post add yeah so product dot create so i can create this one so i am using here product dot create in this product dot create we need to pass the product data here we have already framed this product data which is coming from the url form form data form which, which is already coming from the form so here i will be adding here product dot create and this product dot create now what it will try to give it will give you a promise so i can add it here then in this one let's you can use rest dot redirect of we'll be added here and the catch and console we can copy and we can add it now we can remove this save product that's it so product dot create and we are redirected to the home page this is the thing which we will be trying to add let's go to the output and here i'll be having adding leela product and this is the image url leela image something i'll be adding 12 dollars and i'll add some data and when i click on the add product it will move to this one let's go to the workbench and here in this one let's refresh uh, let's do this one here i'm able to add it at the bottom leela product and all those things i'm able to add it successfully so these are all the things we can remove it so we can also remove this one so i can delete this row delete row so like this we can delete it uh, we'll delete these all samples and all those things okay delete rows yeah we need to click on the apply so after clicking on the apply yeah that's it done so now we are able to successfully add this leela product into the database now from the admin we are able to do this one if you want you can also do the product dot build of this product and product dot save dot then also you can use it not a problem so anyways either ways you can use it so that means other way what we can use is so you can do like this and here i can write product dot build i can use product dot build and i can send this product i can send this product into this one now what i can do is so this one is a product data okay constant product object and for this product object what i can do product sorry product object dot save so i will be using dot save dot then so this one will be useful uh, when it will be useful is i will try to tell you for update also it will do the update so if it if i want to if it want to update it will update it if it wants to insert means it will insert it so two ways it will be useful we'll try to see when we are trying to do the update so here you'll be having like this and i can do rest dot redirect of this one and i can copy this catch or otherwise we can write it catch of error and we'll do console.log of error that's it so done so if you want you can also place it at the bottom yeah so now we are using instead of that uh, create method we are using save method now if we try to see the output the same output let's go to the back yeah this is our products add 
and i think we need to remove this from from the app.js i think because of this app.js our code is getting added so this sample product is there right so this sample product is going on adding because of that reason we are able to get the error now if i try to see here again it will be added yeah so that is the problem so let's try to remove this sample product yeah and really is all rows and click on apply also finish done yeah now this time sample product will not be added and in the product controller we are able to add a product let's try to see the same output so whether you are able to get it or not so i'm adding it here i'm adding here so well, i'm adding and here also i'm adding click on the add product so now if i go to see the output see this time i'm able to add the same product another product also so this is how we will be inserting the add product in our database so now what we have did here so we have built this one so the, this is all data we are getting from the form data and we are building that one we are creating an instance for the product and <clears throat> we are saving that one so this save will be useful when the pro when the product is not there in the database it will insert it if it is there means it will try to update the data so that is the usage of the save method so this is how we will be inserting right now when we go to the home page okay right now when we go to the home page so we are able to get this error why because we are trying to fetch all the products this fetch all products actually it will be it is not present in the uh, this one in the product model so we will be having another method with the name find all in the next session we'll try to see how we can query these all the database uh, with the inserted uh, in the inserted mysql database so how we can get those all the inserted data using this find all let's try to see it in the next session hope you understood about this inserting the data uh, inserting the data uh, from the form if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you